Hey, hey, Kidaholic Kit fans and Scrapper Names fans, how are we all? So up with a bit of a December bonus killer kit kind of video for the design team this week. Um, and I really have killed my December kits, I've discovered. I have like half of the two 12x12 uh, pattern papers left from the main kit. I have very little of the ephemera and die cuts of the uh, Whimsical collection left, as well as the exclusive pieces left. I think the most I have is the alphas uh, and maybe some of the sequins left. And that's it, as you can see here. Uh, I'm giving you a bit of a geese at what I have uh, left in my kit. <laughs> I have to say it's probably the, the, the most I've used in a month, at the end of a month anyway. Uh, so yes, so we've We've, uh, we've, we, while we're waiting for our January kits, we're doing a bit of a bonus uh, killer kitty kind of video. So yes, uh, so this month, so this for this one, I decided to use this cut file, uh, and I've gone with a bit of a coloured background paper, main background paper again. Um, on one of my other videos, which I don't think was for this, I think it was for my channel, or maybe it wasn't a video. Maybe it was just a no, I don't think it was a video. I think I just did a layout. I did the same thing and I used like a plain pattern paper, a coloured cardstock background and I really liked the look of it so I went with that again uh, with this one. So I am going to draw some hearts which I end up actually grabbing one of the hearts and making it a bit easier for myself to draw and cut them out. So I haven't filled all of the cut file in, just some of them as you can see using the pattern paper. Uh, and literally just using both A and B side of the two pieces of paper I have left. <laughs> um, and, you know, just alternating them as best as possible uh, to back some of the cut file I've got there. So, I have backed my cut file, putting it on this. So it's a yellowy kind of coloured cardstock background. Uh, and I really like the look, I really like the way this turns out. So I went with yellow because the photos have a bit of a yellow background to them as such uh, for where we're sitting. So as you'll see shortly, uh, there are two photos of us sitting having ice cream at a, well it's a beachfront kind of place, which you can't really see the beach, but uh, when we were on our holidays at the beginning of last year, oh my god, yes, I'm still scrapping the beginning of last year as in January end of January last year so like this time last year oh my god um, uh, yes um, so yeah so the brickwork behind the buildings and stuff gives that yellowy kind of look um, so I kind of went with that um, as a bit of a tone to our to my layout here which was um, which works because it sort of picks up all the colours I discovered in the rest of the photo as well. So I wanted to give a bit of dimension to it and so I popped some double sided foam tape on the back of some of the hearts here and popped my cut file up because uh, I was I decided I was going to probably slide the photos some of them in underneath and I wanted to slide some of the probably some of the embellishments in underneath um, as opposed to on top of the cut file this time it was just where the mood took me really um, just for something a bit different uh, yeah I was trying to be a bit really creative not a bit a really creative being that I knew I didn't have a lot of my kit left so I wanted to make sure that what I did really stood out with with, with the bits and pieces that I have left I'm just going to trim these photos down. I wasn't going to trim the photos down, um, but I really love this heart border or frame. Uh, so I, I sort of didn't want the photos to take up a heap of the frame. <laughs> um, I know your photos should be the focal point and things like that at times, but um, they still will be. But I'm just trimming some of the excess, um, you know, negative space or whatever you call it, off. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to trim them down just a fraction, just to fit them in nicely without them looking too squished, and roll with that.
right, so now I'm just playing around with what I'm going to do with my photos. Um, and I wanted to use this frame, which got me a bit stuck for a bit. Um, and I do just cut out a chunk here of mucking around with embellishments because I, as I said, I was a bit stuck. I was limited because I didn't have a lot. Um, and I really wanted to use this wood frame um, that said summer because it is the summertime. Um, and I knew that if I put it away in my stash once I killed this, did this video and that was it in my January kit, I probably wouldn't pull it back out. Um, and we're not really doing anything too major this summer. Um, we've been working, I've been working and we haven't gone away and I just was like, it's not going to get used and I don't want things just lying in my stash anymore. So I was like, right, it's being used. Um, but I kind of got stuck because it's a frame with the piece in the middle and it wasn't going to fit around a photo and I was like, do I put it in behind and have the summer sticking out and it was just all the, you know, really difficult questions really, isn't it? Uh, no, but yes, I made it work. So I was just being a bit pedantic, I think. Back my, backing my photos because I didn't like the way they were just sitting against the the yellow background. It needed something, a bit of a border, a coloured border around them. Um, so I have one photo at the top there with me and my son. They're going to slide in underneath the photo, uh, the frame heart border, and this one with the girls are going to sit on top, as you'll see. And fun fact. Um, which I'd actually be interested to see if I actually have it in the video. I didn't notice it when I was editing. When I went to move the photo, uh, the, the layout, um, after I'd photographed it and everything and moved it around to photograph it and everything, um, the photo of the girls wasn't actually stuck down. So, yeah, it sort of flew off when I moved it off completely off my table. And I was like, uh, what? So I'm not sure if the adhesive I'd used didn't stick. I think, I don't know if I used my little roller adhesive, the non-permanent one, that you know, when you can like move it around. The blue, I've got it there somewhere, you'll see it used. Uh, or I just didn't put any adhesive on it. I'm not really sure. I was a bit distracted when I was doing this layout. I have my son and my little one um, are scrapping behind me in this video, hence there was a lot of editing in this because I was helping them and being distracted at the same time. Um, and yes, so I may have forgotten to stick it down. I'm not really sure. But anyway, so here goes. I'm going to use this frame. As I said, there was a lot of fluffing about as to where embellishments were going. But I work it out. I save you the hassle of watching me be indecisive with the bits and pieces I'm going to use. And I watch you just, I let you just watch me commit to everything. Because uh, I'm pretty indecisive. Uh, so I go with some frames here. And you kind of go, there is a bit of a, the, the, the frame kind of limits your space, brings the, the brings the, um, the, the layer in from a 12 by 12 into a bit smaller, um, which I'm okay with, uh, be, especially being that, um, and it was completely accidental, being that there isn't a lot for me to play around with, um, embellishment wise. Uh, and I... Oh, that's right. I'm playing around here. I wanted something in the middle of this frame. As I said, I didn't have a little photo. I didn't know what I was going to put in there. So I decided that I'm going to use... I love these stickers. These alphas, sorry. Oh, they're my favourite. Anyway, uh, in there. So I thought, great yummy summer. I thought that's perfect. It's, it's pretty much a title uh, using embellishments, alphas and the frame. I thought that's perfect. Um, because I couldn't, I didn't really want to put a big, uh, I was going to use the acetate, the Heidi Swap acetate words that we got in the kit. Um, and then I was like, man, it doesn't really fit anywhere. And I don't, I didn't want to cover up the hearts. I really liked the heart frame. So I was like, nah, I'm going with that. So that's my, that's the title of my layout. Great yummy summer. Cause we're eating yummy ice creams and it's, you know, hot and summery and we're at the beach and yep. All those good feels. So just adding some beautiful florals, some bits and pieces there to embellish this frame up a little bit, make it look up pretty. So how did everyone else go with their December kit? I know I loved this kit, I think this was my favourite, um, but I'm a big fan of Paige Evans now, um, so I'm kind of in love with anything I think at the moment she has. Uh, so I got a lot out of this kit. Um, 
so how did you guys go um I always say it but share away in the group guys and you subscribe in our subscriber group and the community group we love seeing what you guys are creating um with the kids it's always great to share ideas and whatnot um i think the team are going to do a bit of a uh top 10 layouts of 2018 actually i think we're going to pop some top tens up over the next little while so stay tuned for that but uh, jump on board if you've got some that you've got you know over the last 12 months or uh, last 2018 sorry of things that you've loved with these kids and what you've made with them share away with us it'll be awesome to see what you've done um, and yeah what you've seen in 2019 all right, so I am finished and these are my close-ups. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this layout. Uh, as I said, we will see you again soon with the January kits. Thanks for watching. Bye.